Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Ring Lamb, and today I have a book review on November 9 by Colleen Hoover. This book I read for a buddy read of Monica. It was a lot of fun discussing it, and it was a lot of fun reading this book. So if you're new to my book reviews or just need a refresher, I have books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading again very soon, five to five, not so soon, one out of five. So I already said I think that this is a spoiler for your review, but I'll just repeat that in case I didn't mention it above top. So November 9 is basically about a girl named Fallon who meets a boy named Ben and basically every they they have such an attraction the day they meet and she's moving across the country the same day so they decide to meet up every November 9. Now this goes on for a few years there's lots of trials and tribulations they have a lot of skeletons in their closet particularly Ben who we don't hear about a lot of his to the ending or like close to the end because Fallon's like our main like we're following mainly Fallon around but she kind of has her stuff on the open and we kind of are on bearing Ben's secrets as the novel goes. But I had a, like, I really like this Colleen Hoover book. I'm giving it a 4.5 to 5 though, uh, because I found like it did move really fast. I really enjoyed it, but there's just something a little bit off on it. Like I, it's hard about spoiling it, but like certain things when we find out about Ben's past, it's like, why couldn't his brother have done this and why does it have to because it kind of tarnishes his character stuff we find out to me at least and that's as far as I'm gonna go with the plot but anyway the plot moved pretty good I was really satisfied with it and I definitely enjoyed it I it's really hard for me to describe contemporary books when I do reviews of them rather than telling you everything that happened but I really liked um how it progressed throughout I know people wanted me to do a review where I was doing discussion notes I did write down a few notes because I forgot to do that until halfway through the book, which I'm sorry about if you did request that. Um, and I'll get, read you guys the notes. So I really like page 94. It was just hilarious and it was just like so many good like like book puns kind of. I really loved how there was an ugly love reunion. Um, if you read Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, two of the characters show up. I think maybe three. I can't quite remember. I think only, yeah, two of the characters show up. I can't, well I guess there's some crossover. It's kind of confusing. But anyway, we get an update on a couple from that book, so it's very good. I really liked that. I hope she does more of those like crossovers of more of her books or maybe she's already done them and I just didn't notice because I hadn't read those books. If she has any more crossovers that you guys know about spoiling it and just telling me the characters that show up in the whatever works that'd be great if you guys know that. And I said I like how Colleen Hoover acknowledges how her work is different from similar works page 149. So somebody kind of says like isn't that just like sorry I'm just putting my phone back here. Isn't that like November 9 like kind of like meeting on the same day is that kind of like the film one day and stuff like that and then she kind of explains how it's different and I really like how she acknowledged that because I was thinking at the back of my head and I really like I actually really like that because she's making it her own and acknowledging that yeah there's things that are similar but this is our thing and like this is that so like I really enjoyed that I really thought that was an interesting take on that because that's what I was thinking throughout the whole novel and I like that because like, she could have just shied away from it and kind of you know moved over it but she defended her novel stance while having an interesting conversation in the novel. Also sorry if the lighting keeps changing because you know it keeps going and yeah just really like the plot. Characters I give a four out of five. Now I really like the character of Fallon. I really like her progression throughout the novel and I especially like how Ben helps her but I don't know Ben's character kind of loses some of his appeal when you find out um, some more of his skeletons in his closet but I still really do like the couple it's just like it does kind of lose its appeal and that's the sad part that's why I wish like if you find out what happened like I wish his brother would have done that and he knew his brother did something and then you know like not him because it kind of tarnished his character in the making but like I feel like with these characters when their stuff was coming on they're being more honest that they were at, truly at their best cover I give a five to five I love these new Colleen Hoover covers that have been happening besides you know the slammed redo because I don't like those covers like I like the old ones but I just really like this and I really like how it has November 9. I really liked how this also came out November 9. I didn't read it then but I just really thought that was a cute touch. Um, and then Suspense, I give a 5 to 5. I love this book so much. I actually don't really read that late at night. Like I'd say 11.30 is most of the time or like 11.45 is most of the time where I'll like like put on my phone, like turn on my phone and like look at stuff on that. Rather than read, I don't really stay up too late. Like 12.30 is most nights or 12 o'clock um, which is late in some retrospect but like for the summer usually I go to bed early in the school year but for the summer that's pretty early I'd say for like my age demographic um but basically I was up reading this to like almost one o'clock in the morning because I, I had like 60 pages left and I was like at 12 o'clock and I was like I I can't I was like I need to know what's gonna happen um so it definitely got me reading up at, like well all night let's not be ridiculous but later than usual and overall I get this book a I'm gonna give this book a 4.5 
for, well, for readability, rereadability, giving it a five out of five. So overall, five out of five. I definitely reread this again soon. I definitely love this Colleen Hoover book just as much as the other ones. It's in the middle tier again, but it's upper middle tier of my favorites. So really good one. Just, you know, had a little, you know, hiccup in the road with one of the characters, but really enjoyed it nonetheless. If you guys have read this, definitely let me know what you guys thought, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.